For this hot point model, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, 5.5mm socket, long nose pliers, and a 10mm socket. Lay some towels or blankets on the floor to prevent any scratches. Lay the machine on its side. Ask for help if it's heavy. Remove the screws holding the back plate in place with your Phillips screwdriver. The back plate needs to be removed to access the belt and motor unit bolts on this model. Remove the back plate and place to one side. If you have some work gloves, pop them on. Remove the washing machine belt by pulling the belt towards you while slowly spinning the pulley. There are two 10mm bolts holding the motor unit in place. With your ratchet or socket tool, remove these. Disconnect the earth terminal with your long nose pliers or by hand. Remove the block connector. The motor unit should then slide out. It may be stuck if the metal tab at the bottom is caught on the washing machine drum. The two carbon brushes are found here. We'll demonstrate on one, but the process is the same for either side. Remove the connector from the carbon brush. Remove the two 5.5mm bolts. The old carbon brush can then be removed. The brushes maintain constant contact with the commutator. This continuous contact ensures a consistent flow of electricity to the motor, enabling it to run. It's why, over time, they need to be replaced after they've worn down. Attach your new carbon brush, making sure it's the same way as the one removed. Screw the bolts back in place. Attach the electrical connector. Reinsert the motor unit back in the washing machine. Reattach the earth wire. Reconnect the block connector. Reinsert the 10mm bolts and tighten with your ratchet or socket tool. To reinstall your belt, attach it to the motor spindle with the ridge side facing up. Start off by attaching the belt to the pulley on the side where the motor spindle is. Here it's the right side. Then. Begin to turn the pulley and feed the belt on. Spin the new pulley to make sure the belt is on correctly. Reattach your rear panel and re-screw all of the screws back in place. And that's it. Your new washing machine carbon brush is all set to go.